Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do some audio settings on Camtasia 9. All right, so I'm here in Camtasia 9 right now, and I've got a video loaded up on the timeline. And it's just a small clip of when I do these types of tutorial videos. That is the example that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to show you the audio settings that I use on our YouTube videos. Okay, so once you have your video clip on the timeline, you want to make sure that it's highlighted and you want to head over to audio effects. And this is what I do. So I take the noise removal and I drag it down to the clip and then I raise the audio just a bit. Now there's other stuff over here. You can play around with the sensitivity and the amount and you can just, if you don't have any knowledge of how the, that works, basically you just play around with it and see um, the sounds that you're going to be getting from the audio if it sounds good to you. So I'm just going to play this here right now. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Alright, so in this video I'm going to be doing an update on some products that I bought and what they sold for. Alright, so that sounds pretty good to me. I'm recording on the Blue Yeti microphone, that's why I don't need to do too much editing with my audio because this microphone is already pretty good and I get good audio quality from it. So what I usually do is I do the noise removal because then it removes a little bit of that buzzing sometimes because there's a fridge nearby here and sometimes you know when, when the fridge goes off you can hear a little bit of the buzzing or the noises. So I do that to remove that noise with the noise removal and I usually raise the audio just a little bit more to make it louder. Now if there was more going on in the audio and the noise removal didn't do it for the audio, like that's the standard Camtasia 9 noise removal that they do on the video. If that didn't work enough for the video, then I would head over to here and play around with these settings. Now it's going to be different for each one of you because I don't know how you're going to be recording, what microphones, what kind of room you're going to be in, and it changes. You know, in this room there, there is a, a fridge right here, so it makes that buzzing noise. But sometimes when we record in another office, the office is really big and it sounds echoey sometimes. So we need to change the, the sensitivity and the amount here. So these are my standard settings when I'm filming for my YouTube videos with the Blue Yeti microphone is to add the noise removal, have it do as is, and then raise the volume up if I need to. You can also use these other effects too. So let's say you need to do some volume leveling. Like let's say your audio is going up and down for some reason it's low and then some reason it's really high and you want it to generally be the same because it might be hard on the ears for people when they're listening to your video. You can do the volume leveling and it will level out the audio so it's not going high and low. The fade in and fade out you can see here, let's say I, I do this on the music, um, let's say the song, you want it to fade in, it's going to do this little incline ramp here, and then the fade out, when you add it, it's going to do a little decline ramp there. So that's when you know the fade in and fade out has worked, is when it goes up and then when it goes down. And it basically just fades in and fades out the audio. And it's best to use these in music um, and or if you're cutting out in a certain place, like let's say you're talking and you're cutting out, but it wouldn't sound very good to just cut it like that. So if you do a fade out, then it's not so abrupt. It, it sounds better to the ear when it fades out. So that's when you would use um, the fade in and fade out. All right, guys, so that is the general overview of the audio effects in Camtasia 9. Definitely play around with them when you are doing your videos for YouTube because you want the best sounding audio for your videos. 
Alright guys, well if I was able to help you out, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or a subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. And if you like more videos on Camtasia 9, head over to the description below. I have much more tutorials. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.